Today I'm reacting to YouTubers versus. Versus? Yeah, VS. Versus? Oh, versus. Versus TikTokers, boxing, watches. I'm not really sure. I'm reacting to watches, right? Yeah. Before we go into the video, I want to thank our sponsor. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that's being sent to your email from Monday to Sunday. I really like their approach. I can see the full news within five minutes. Time is money. The traditional news apps for me are boring and very chaotic. Morning Brew sends you an email in the morning with all the important headlines. If you're interested in business, finance, tech, then there is no reason for you not to subscribe. It only takes 15 seconds. It is completely free. At Brad and Binion, we recently started to accept Bitcoin. I know we just made 5%. Morning Brew is one of the sponsors that will allow us to grow our channel. And I'm asking you, my people, to support them as much as you support me. Click the first link on the description to subscribe to Morning Brew now. Oh, this is your man. His name is Bruce Hall. Bryce Hall. What are they doing? Did they do drugs or what's the f story here? What are they doing? And people watch this. The world is f***ed, mate. In 20 years, there's no world anymore because these guys are grown up. This could be a future president indeed. And then in London, you have these f***ing YouTubers going for mayor of London. I do like that one, to be fair. Have you seen that? Like Bin Man. Bin Man? His name is Count Binface. A guy with a bin on his head. He finished ninth. Then you had another YouTuber that ended fifth. I could be mayor of Belfast. Let me introduce you to mayor of Belfast. There he is. <laughs> Bryce is fighting a guy called Austin McBroom on Saturday. Is Austin McBroom his f***ing stage name? McBroom sounds like a burger from McDonald's. Can I have two McBroom, please? This doesn't surprise me at all, um, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee? No, it doesn't surprise me to see this watch on Bruce Hall. This is, this is garbage, mate. Bruce Hall is wearing a, a Rolex Datejust, fully iced out with aftermarket garbage bollocks diamonds, which you can buy per kilo for a f***ing often. They come like this, in a big bag. I'm not wearing a f***ing watch. I need to grab my watch. I was, t I, take, I took my watch off because I'm very careful with my new watch. So this is a G-Shock Richard Mille edition. It's nice. You can all see, it's very intricate. You can see the whole movement. We call it skeletonization. It's actually quite complicated. It's a chronograph and a chronograph is a stopwatch and a stopwatch will allow you to count seconds, minutes, hours, whatever the f you want. But also this one is extra complicated because it's a flyback chronograph. So it flies back. So this is a bag, right? Basically it says the UK best selling loose fill, but then and with this watch, they will say the UK best selling loose diamonds for shit watches. They grab a watch and then the jeweler puts these diamonds on the watch, right? Basically, they destroy the watch with diamonds that should have been thrown away. I was going to tidy it up. Keep in mind, this was actually rubbish. So this wasn't good enough for jewelry. And they put that on that watch. So basically, 80% of his watch is garbage. Do you think that people understand now why I say bullshit f***ing diamonds? Uh, you! <laughs> Bruce Price. And he's fighting this girl. Oh, the guy. Oh, Burger Man. Austin McBroom. His watch is f***ing shit, mate. It's f***ing shit. It's the same story. This is an Audemars PK Royal Oak 15400 ST. Completely and utterly destroyed by these f***ing... Things. My prediction on this fight is I would give 1% more to Austin because he doesn't do like he's a f***ing because I'm giving no f***ing point to that other dude, Bruce. I'm a f***ing win and f*** Austin McBroom. I'm team f***ing. Ken. I mean, you know. I'm being sorry about that. It's not my beef, but you know, we team Bryce out here. Right. <laughs> even team the paparazzi Bryce. team Bryce. Oh, God. You can't even make this up. This world is f***ed. I don't know what the f*** her name is. <laughs> I'm so f***ing allergic to this type of f***ing bullshit. They just Jubilee braised it. Completely aftermarket f It's a fake dial, the whole story. Hey, this is Bruce. And people aspire to be this? I mean, I, I don't know if I can handle this, like. Bruce, mate, what the f***? Why ain't your neck in? Please tell me it's drugs. If they're sober here, we're f the next guy we're looking at is Taylor Holder. Sorry, not sorry. Your watch is shit. Your dial is fake. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not gonna judge you, 
I don't know who you are. I saw you in air in a bed. Uh, you were probably uh, on drugs. If you weren't, I am very worried. Your dial is fake because Audemars Piquet didn't make that dial. And it's supposed to be an Audemars Piquet Royal Oak. Is this guy fighting Bruce as well? No, this guy's fighting a Nissan Gib. He fought Jake Paul last year. Seems like he has some head movement with you as well. What is this guy doing with the red trunks? Very unorthodox. He's sitting down, mate. He's inventing a new sport, squat running. And Nissan Gib is fighting who? Taylor Holder. That Anuson guy is so sh** that I will still give the win to Taylor because that guy can't f***ing box. That guy shouldn't be in a boxing ring. Like That guy should be under the squat rack, doing squats the whole day, doing squat running, inventing some new sport or something. DDG. There's another guy who's fighting on Saturday called Who is DDG. That's his name? He's a YouTuber and a rapper. Oh, he's a YouTuber and a rapper. Who's good, Josh? Your boy, DDG. Let's get into the watches. The watches is really my thing. I'm really into watches and I've been through a few of them, but this is what I have here today. I got this Rolex right here. Got a little scratch in it. I don't really wear this one. This is kind of like a red face. It match red if I wear red, just to ask him. Pizzazz to my outfit. This was 30,000. This is just a date just. Did they say $30,000? Like I'll tell you the cost price of that watch right now. Because we get this shit offered every single day. What does it say here? Someone take this for seven and a half thousand. That's eleven thousand dollars. Look, look, fourteen thousand two hundred pounds for two. To make a statement, that dial is never made by Rolex. Rolex doesn't have a sunburst red face. We got the Patek Philippe. This is one of my favorite watches. All white. Pay sixty thousand for it. I bought this on just a random day. To be fair, Nautilus today, you can't buy this below $60,000. The base watch costs more than $60,000. Then they put some diamonds on and then the watch is worth like 40. It's just aftermarket bullshit. Same story as previously. A bag of diamonds that weren't good enough to be in a piece of jewelry. This is my most recent purchase. This is a Royal Oak AP bust down raised bezel all around it. I just got this. Uh, it's the chronograph. I don't really know too much about it and nothing like that, but it costs eighty thousand dollars. If you paid eighty thousand dollars for that, you see that generic watch box? That's not an Audemars PK watch box. So that means that this watch was naked, meaning that the watch didn't have box and probably didn't have papers. Now the AP chronograph in original condition featuring the box and papers will set you back between 42 and $45,000. A naked Audemars Piguet chronograph like this will set you back between 35 and $37,000. So you're telling me that diamonds on this watch have cost you $45,000? I'm gonna come to the big bang. This is one of my dumbest purchases, but it's kind of smart at the same time. He's calling this his dumbest purchase. Honey. And eighty five thousand dollars is what I spent on this watch. Listen, fair play to the lad if he paid one hundred eighty five thousand dollars there, because that watch is worth about two hundred fifty to two hundred eighty thousand dollars. Listen, credits where credits are due. Well done, goodbye. But I'm more of like a watch guy. I'm more of like DDG to call you a watch guy. Wise up. That's the same thing as calling me an athlete because I bought a Peloton bike. That's absolute bullshit. If you're a watch guy. Buy proper watches. Have you heard that Jake Paul just announced his next fight? He's fighting an MMA fighter called Tyron Woodley. Jake Paul, if you want to be a boxer, fight boxers. And if that's the case, you would like to do another exhibition. Oh. He's got his brother. You know his brother would certainly love to fight you. Oh, we don't know what the future holds, but I talk it over with my team and, and see where we go from there. You got to realize I've been in this sport 25 years. Do I actually see this for real? two watches on his wrist acting like Billy Big Balls. Now, the only comment I'm gonna say about these watches is that he's wearing two really, really f***ing shit pieces of shit. By the way, that RM is um, aftermarket bullshit. So basically, it's the same story, but then on an expensive watch. The other one looks a bit like a Frank Muller. I can't define it really precise. So basically, Jake Paul is a professional boxer who never fought any professional boxer and is not planning to do any fights with professional boxers. So when is he gonna fight a wheelchair basketball player or something? If you wanna be respected in the sport, fight people that are respected in the sport. I'll tell you one thing, that Gucci Mickey Mouse watch is better than any of his other watches combined. My prediction for that fight, I'll take a guess the other guy, what is the other guy he's called? Tyrone Woodley. My money would 100% be on Tyrone Woodley because he looks like a very angry man with a beard. Ah. Lads, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.
I took a shit there the other day and the fucking toilet blocked. You know how awkward that was? In the office. And the fucking toilet was blocked.